everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Lucky, Lucky Stripes Market Bag. This is the third bag in the Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along if you are crocheting along with me. If it's your first time hearing about this crochet along, I encourage you to go to the Market Bag uh, Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along playlist and you'll find all the patterns that have been released including in previous years in that playlist. So this is our Lucky Stripes market bag. It is worked uh, using a stitch that looks like little four leaf clovers. This is an open work bag. Uh, although it's not completely open, it does have rows of single crochet stitches here, which gives it a quite a bit of stability. So it's a fairly strong market bag crochet pattern. Uh, this pattern is worked from the bottom up and using a worsted weight cotton or medium weight cotton. Today I'm using the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. Uh, the sample one here is worked in this rose taupe color. I'm going to be using this golden color here though in the tutorial so it's easier for you to see. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook as well as four to six stitch markers. And you're going to use those to mark your bottom corners as well as your top. And I'll show you how to use those as we come to it. Uh, each of the cotton balls of Pima cotton has about 186 yards in it. And I've used three balls for this bag today. You'll also find a copy of the written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there's direct links to each of these items in the description of the video. Thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe. Once again, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our design today is worked from the bottom up, so we're going to start by working the bottom of our bag. Uh, it is worked in rounds. We're going to begin by making a slip knot and then by working a chain, a starting chain of 40 stitches. There's 20. Thirty, and forty. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin round one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across to your final chain. So a half double crochet in that second chain and then into each stitch all the way across to your final stitch uh, in that foundation chain. Once you come around to your final stitch, into this final stitch, you're going to, of your chain, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches. Now if you would like, at this point we're going to mark our corners so you can mark the first stitch and then work another half double crochet and a third half double crochet and then mark that stitch. This is just going to make it easier as you're working around uh, to see where your corners are. You're then going to, working on the opposite side of your chain, you're going to half double crochet again into each stitch all the way across uh, to your first chain or I guess it's your second chain that you worked your first stitch into. So continue all the way across to your first stitch working a half double crochet into the opposite side of your chain all the way across. Once you come across to that final stitch, that final chain, into this final chain work two half double crochets and you can mark that first one and then there's your second one 
And then the next stitch that you'll mark is actually the first stitch of your round, if you would like, but we're going to work into it in a sec. Uh, so once you've worked your final two stitches, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then ready for round two. For round two, chain one, and into this first stitch, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches and you're going to mark the second stitch of the three which will be your corner stitch. So three half double crochets all into the same stitch. And then if you would like, mark that second stitch of the three. You're then going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way across to your next stitch marker. Once you come across to your next stitch marker, it will have been 37 stitches, you're into that next marked stitch, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches. And once again, if you would like, mark that second stitch of the three. So three half double crochets, mark the second stitch. You're then going to half double crochet into the next stitch. And then in the next stitch, or at your next stitch marker, work three more half double crochet stitches. Mark the second stitch. You're then going to half double crochet once again all the way across to your next stitch marker. And it's a total of 37 half double crochet stitches. So one in each of the next 37 stitches. Once you've worked 37 half double crochets and you've come to your next stitch marker, Work three half double crochets into that next stitch. Mark the second stitch if you would like. And then you're going to finish off by working one final half double crochet in the final stitch. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round three, chain one, half double crochet into that first stitch. Into your next stitch, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches. Mark that second stitch for your corner. And you're then going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way across to your next stitch marker and that's going to be a total of 39 stitches so one half double crochet in each of the next 39 stitches all the way across to your next marker once you come across to your next stitch marker work three half double crochet stitches into that next stitch. Mark the second stitch. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. That will bring you to your next marker. In the next stitch you're going to work three half double crochet stitches. Mark that second stitch and you're then going to half double crochet into each of the next 39 stitches which will bring you to your next marker. At the next stitch marker you're going to work three half double crochet stitches.
mark the second stitch, then work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round four, you're going to chain one half double crochet into that first stitch and into the next stitch. Then work three half double crochets into your next corner stitch. Mark the second stitch if you would like. You're then going to half double crochet in each of the next 41 stitches which should bring you around to your next corner stitch. Once you've worked 41 half double crochets into your next stitch, work three half double crochet stitches. Mark the second stitch if you wish. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Three half double crochets into your next corner stitch. And then working along the side again, you're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next 41 stitches or until you reach your next stitch marker. Once you come all the way across, work three half double crochets into that next stitch. Mark the second stitch. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches, which should bring you across to your first stitch, and you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. That brings you to round five. For round five, we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch and into each of the next two stitches. Add your corner stitch, work three half double crochets. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next 44 stitches. That should bring you around to your next stitch marker. Sorry, each of the next 43 stitches. Once you've worked one half double crochet in each of the next 43 stitches, you're here at your stitch marker or your, or your corner stitch, you're going to work three half double crochets into that next stitch. You're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. into your next stitch, work three half double crochet stitches. You're then going to, working along the other side, work one half double crochet, again in each of the next 43 stitches. Once you've worked 43 half double crochet stitches into your next stitch, work three half double crochets. 
all into the same stitch. You'll then have four stitches remaining. You're going to work one half double crochet stitch into each of the final four stitches. This will bring you to your first stitch. Join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. This brings us to the end of our increase rounds for our bag. This is what your bottom looks so like so far. We're now going to chain one, continue working in the same direction. You can remove your stitch markers now. And we're going to work three rounds, so round six, seven, and eight of a half double crochet in the same stitch as joining and then into each stitch all the way around. So one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one and continue. So go ahead, work round six, seven, and eight, half double crochet in each stitch around and then meet me back here. At the end of round eight, this is what your work looks like. The bottom of your bag is now complete. So we're going to start working the sides of our bag. We're going to continue working in the same direction. And for rounds one and two of your bag side, we're going to chain one and simply single crochet into the same stitch as joining and then into each stitch all the way around. So we're going to work two rounds of single crochet stitches. At the end of each round you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then chain one. At the end of round two for your bag side, so you'll have worked two rounds of single crochet stitches at the end of round two, we're going to chain three. Next, you're going to double crochet two stitches together over the next two stitches. So this chain three is actually going to be included in these to form a double crochet three together. But because of our chain three, we're gonna double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that one more time in the next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. With three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're then going to chain, uh, you're going to work a double crochet cluster. So to work your double crochet cluster, you're going to begin by chaining three, then yarn over, insert your hook back into the first chain of that chain three. Insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into this first chain, yarn over, draw up a loop, Yarn over and pull through two loops, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's your double crochet cluster. You're then going to skip the next stitch and work a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So you're skipping the next stitch, yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to do that two more times in each of the next two stitches. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. That's your double crochet three together. You're then going to repeat this all the way around. So work a double crochet cluster, chain three, 
yarn over, insert your hook into that first chain, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, do that two times. Your cluster is made, skip the next stitch and over the next three stitches, work a double crochet, three together. Repeat that all the way around where you'll finish with a double crochet cluster and a slip stitch uh, into the top of your first cluster. I'll show you uh, when I come around. So double crochet cluster, skip the next stitch, work a double crochet three together all the way around. So I'm here at the end of my round three. I have my one stitch remaining, work one cluster stitch, and you're going to join into the top of the next double crochet three together. So when I'm joining, I'm going to actually join right into this uh, first chain one space. So this is going to form the center uh, of our uh, sort of clover stitch. Uh, so I'm joining into this chain one space or into the chain one stitch just with the slip stitch. You're then going to for round four chain three and it counts as a double crochet stitch and then work two more double crochets back down into this chain one. You're then going to chain one, skip the next cluster stitch and into the chain one or the top of your next three together, work three double crochets. Chain one, skip the next cluster and into that chain one, work three more double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat this all the way around, ending with a chain one and a join into the top of your first double crochet stitch or your first chain three. At the end of round four, you've worked your three double crochets, chain one, skip the next cluster and join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three, which is your first double crochet. You're then going to chain one. For round five, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then a single crochet into each stitch and each chain one space all the way around. So there's three single crochets in the top of our double crochet stitches, single crochet into your chain one space, and then a single crochet into the top of each of the next three double crochets. So single crochet in each stitch and chain one space all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round six, chain one, single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of round six, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round six, joining with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Now for rounds seven through to 30, you're going to repeat rounds three to six, six more times. So in a total, we're going to want seven rounds of these uh, kind of cluster flower slash shamrock stitch designs. Uh, we want to have a total of seven of these uh, designs in our bag. So we're going to start uh, with that round three, which was the chain three, 
the double crochet two together followed by your cluster stitch and then double crochet three together all the way around. That was your round three through two, the round that we just worked, our final single crochet round, and you're going to do that six more times. Then the body of your bag will be complete and you're going to meet me back here where we will work the top and the handles. Now once you've worked to round 30, and I've switched over to another sample bag that I have going here, uh, your work will look like this from the bottom. You're going to have seven rounds of these cluster stitches and then you're going to have your top and your final two rounds of single crochet. We're now ready to start the bag top and the bag handles. So for the first three rounds, rounds one to three, we're going to work three rounds of half double crochet. So half double crochet into the same stitch as joining there was no need to fasten off or anything at this point. We're just continuing to work. And then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and then continue on. You want to have a total of three rounds of half double crochet and then we're going to fasten off. At the end of round three for the bag top, uh, you've worked three rounds of half double crochet stitches. You're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, and at this time, you're going to fasten off. You can then go ahead, weave in any ends that you'd like. I'm not going to do that at the moment, um, but to go ahead, weave in any ends. We're now going to mark the bag handles. So what you're going to do is lay your bag flat on your table and mark the two side stitches. So you're going to start by marking the one stitch just in the corner. You're then going to count 55 stitches all the way across the top and then mark that stitch, the 55 number 55. So once you've marked those two sides, you know where your two sides are, we're now going to actually mark uh, the two handles. And so starting at one of your stitch markers on the front of your work, you're going to count in nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That stitch number nine, you're going to mark it. Go over to the other side of your bag. Again, we're still looking at the front. You're going to count in nine stitches on the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're going to mark that ninth stitch. And you should have 36 stitches in between your two stitch markers. You're then going to turn your bag over. If you don't have 36 stitches, uh, you may just want to adjust them a little bit, but you should have 36 stitches between the two markers on the front. So that's not the two sides, those are your two front ones. On the back of your bag, you're going to go back to your side stitch marker and you're going to count in 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you're going to mark the 10th stitch. It should be roughly in line with the stitch marker on the front of your bag. Head over to your other side from that side stitch. Count in 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, it should be roughly in line with the one on the front. You can then remove your two side stitch markers. And again, between the two stitch markers on the back, you will have a total of 36 stitches. You're now ready to rejoin your yarn. So taking your yarn and then I'm beginning at one of the stitch markers on the left hand side, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch. Just at the stitch marker there on the left hand side. Chain one and you're going to work a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around uh, to the next 
stitch marker. So I'm working from this stitch marker around to this one. And you're just going to work a half double crochet into each of those stitches across. And this will be going up uh, the sides of your bag. almost to that stitch marker. Once you meet that next stitch marker, you're then going to chain 45 chains. So you've hit the stitch marker, you were to half double crochet in that marked stitch and chain 45. You're going to be working into these chain stitches, so keep them fairly loose. There's 10. Twenty. Thirty, forty, forty-five. Now, if you would like your bag handles longer or shorter, uh, you can lengthen or shorten that chain. Just remember how many chain stitches you worked because you'll want to do the same on the other side. So once you have chained your 45, you're then going to skip those 36 stitches in between your stitch marker. And then beginning in the next stitch marker, you're going to work a half double crochet. So you've skipped the 36. And then a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around to the next stitch marker. Continue working along the side. All the way to your next marker. When you come to your next stitch marker, work a half double crochet into that stitch, the marked stitch. You'll be then on the opposite side of your bag. You're once again going to loosely chain 45 chain stitches. Again, if you change the number, uh, you'll want to remember and uh, work the same number as you did on the other side. There's 20, 30, and 45. Once you've worked 45, skip the next 36 stitches. And that will bring you back to your first half double crochet and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that half double crochet stitch. At that time you can then, if you wish, remove your stitch markers 
if you wish. That way they're not catching on anything. And you're ready to continue. You're then going to, for round five, chain one, and you're going to half double crochet in the same stitch as joining, and then half double crochet into each stitch and each chain stitch all the way around. So I'm going to continue working my half double crochets here around to my first chain. So half double crochet in each stitch around to where your chain stitch it begins, your chain for your handles. Once you come to that chain, you're then going to work in each chain across. Now if you don't like working into your chains, perhaps you find them too tight or whatever the reason you'd prefer not to work into them, you are able to work into the chain space uh, and then you would just work your um, 45 half double crochets into that chain space or again if you changed it you'll want to change the number of stitches you're working. So half double crochet into each chain stitch and each half double crochet all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round five for your bag handles join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch you're now ready for the final three rounds so rounds six seven and eight all you're going to do is chain one half double crochet in that same stitch as joining and then half double crochet in each stitch all the way around so to finish off your bag, work three more rounds of half double crochet stitches. Join with the slip stitch in the top of the first stitch, chain one, continue for rounds six, seven, and eight. At the end of round eight for your bag handles, you're going to fasten off, weave in your ends, and then go out and enjoy your Lucky Stripes market bag. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look at some of the other market bag patterns here on my channel, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.